it, it was a really hard choice to go public with my story. For the first year after diagnosis, I didn't even mention it on Facebook. I told close friends, obviously the people I worked with knew because I had to go on leave, extended leave, um, and my close, close friends and family. But I, I really didn't know how to talk about it. I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't initially think that it was productive or useful to share. And I was shy. I was ashamed in this strange way that I think of diseases, maybe cancer makes us more than most. Um, so the decision to talk about this publicly wasn't one taken lightly. It wasn't until Honestly, it wasn't until I started drawing about it that I felt like I needed to share. And it was only because I had shared those initial drawings with a few close friends who also live with cancer or cancer's impact that I decided it was worthwhile to be more public with my diagnosis and the fact that I'm living with cancer. And it was largely because I felt so isolated and lonely within my disease myself that I felt that I needed to share. I felt that if I felt so alone, there must be other people who felt the same way, who maybe had access to even a smaller support system than mine. I have really amazing people in my life. And so when I, when I realized that I maybe had something to offer that might be useful, I decided to tell people. And I, I was really scared. I had a lot of trepidation about opening myself up in that really vulnerable way, even to tell social media that I had cancer, much less to, to tell the world with a book. So it, it, it was a hard choice. But I think, that, I think that it was a really good one. I have mostly received back deep compassion and kindness, and I feel really lucky to have had that response.